As Michelle said, my name is Don Sasso, and I've served as principal of this school, Cumberland Academy of Georgia, for the last five years. We serve grades 4 through 12, and we are currently in our ninth year of operation with approximately 90 students. Our mission bears repeating, Cumberland Academy of Georgia specializes in the needs of children with high-functioning autism, Asperger's, ADD, ADHD, and other learning differences. The mission of the Academy is to provide a safe, supportive educational environment in partnership with faculty, staff, students, and parents. The Cumberland family embraces the uniqueness of every child by challenging and inspiring them to reach their full potential. Our academic and social curriculum encourages the development of life skills essential in becoming self-sufficient adults. I'd like to focus my comments this evening on what we do at the high school level to prepare our students for the transition to life after high school graduation. We have two tracks in our high school, a college preparatory track comprised of 23 credits, similar to what you would see in any public or private college preparatory school. And we also have a career vocational track for students who would not be able to handle the academic rigor of a college prep program. These students have reduced academic expectations and their program features a strong exposure to life and work in community-based businesses or organizations where they can explore a variety of career options. We also offer an individualized postgraduate program for those students who need to remediate before moving on. As the students enter and begin high school, we work with the students and parents to discern what will be the appropriate path or as we call it, what's next, for each student after high school. During their high school years, we take students once a month to a different college campus where they get experience what a college campus is like and hear from representatives at the school about different programs and services the school offers for special needs students. We try to show them a broad spectrum of schools, larger ones like Georgia State or Kennesaw State, and smaller schools like Reinhardt University or Gordon College. We also take high school students once a month to a different work site where they observe and in many cases participate in the actual work at the site. They've been to the Gap where they have worked in retail clothing or high-res video game development center or Chick-fil-A or Solaris where the students actually manufacture their own cell phone covers. In the high school, we offer a life skills course where the students learn very practical skills like money management, building a resume, interviewing skills, manners, and so on. For our vocational career track, students, uh, students we have, uh, for our vocational career track students, we have developed relationships with organizations like Publix, supermarkets, the Sandy Springs Recycling Center, and animal shelters where our students go to work. We take our students to restaurants where they learn proper restaurant etiquette and also learn how to manage a budget and pay a tip. They also go to places like California Pizza Kitchen where they'll work in the kitchen to learn about food preparation. We have organized team sports and compete in a league against other special needs schools. Generally, our students are not all that talented athletically and maybe they don't, they don't like sports because they haven't been good at them or they've been made fun of. We really encourage our students to become a member of a team so that they learn what it means to be a teammate. Listen to your coach and the referees and have fun. Everybody plays, no one get cut. It's more about participation than winning. We have more boys here than girls because of the diagnoses. Needless to say, the girls are very popular here. <laughs> we also have a cheerleading team with uniforms, pom-poms, and routines. They cheer at our games. And if I direct your attention to the lower level of the wall over there, you'll see two banners. Uh, they have won first place in the special needs category the last two years at a huge Southeastern cheerleading competition at the ba basketball venue at Georgia Tech. We offer activities to bring out and polish the students' performance skills. In the high school, we have a video and music production class. And after first semester this year, the class presented a project that they had completed. It was a campy horror movie about the dangers of falling asleep in class. It had students from both the college prep track and vocational track, and it was created by the students and shot here at school under the direction of their teacher. It was quite clever. We take our students on a whitewater rafting expedition each year during the fall, 
and in the spring we send them away for three days on chaperone field trips to places like Savannah, Nashville, Universal Studios, Disney World, or Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We offer drivers education two or three times a year, and we encourage our students to learn how to drive. It's an important independent living skill. We have an annual dance for our high school students, and of course, we import girls from other schools who join us at the dance. About 10 of our students take the MARTA train to and from school, and we have a bus that takes them to and from the train station. We believe this is a great life skill, learning to use public transportation. In addition to tra traditional sports, we offer a bowling activity and taekwondo. All of these activities and programs round out our students as individuals and are preparing them for life after high school, either in college or working in the community. They teach our students how to win and how to lose and how to interact appropriately on a team and in society in general. Let me talk about our last two graduating classes to give you an idea of how this plays out in the what's next for each of our graduates. Daniel graduated last May and he was accepted to Oglethorpe University. He was offered a large scholarship at Oglethorpe and was the first Cumberland graduate to have received such an offer. Will was also in that graduating class and he was accepted at Georgia Perimeter, Georgia State, and Kennesaw State University. Will currently attends Kennesaw State University and is doing well. Brandon, a third, year, a third graduate in that class, was in the career vocational track at Cumberland, and he currently works at a big market called Sprouts. Our graduating class two years ago also had three graduates. Connor developed a fascination with cosmetology, and so after graduation, he attended a full year at cosmetology school, then he went through licensing procedures to become a cosmetologist, obtained a position at a salon in Buford, Georgia, and has just informed us that he has achieved the level of master stylist. Kind of loves what he's doing. At the end, who was also in that class, was very much into computers. And he is in his second year at Chattahoochee Technical College, studying a computer curriculum, with the intent to transfer to Kennesaw State University next year to continue his study in computers. Stephen Scarborough was the third graduate in that class, and I'll let Stephen tell you about himself as he's a member of our panel tonight. In the spring of each year, we have a transition meeting with the parents of rising ninth graders. At this meeting, we talk about the different options within our high school program, and we present parents with a comprehensive packet, this packet, which helps us to understand the unique interests and abilities of each student and get a sense of what aspirations the parents have for their students. Also, the packet contains lists of resources where the parents can obtain additional information or services. I've placed several copies of this packet on the desk out in the front lobby uh, if you're interested in, in obtaining a copy. I also have my card, business card out there. If, if we run out of them, you email me. I'll make sure I, I get a copy to you via email. Uh, I want to thank members of our staff that have come out this evening. We have several members of our counseling department. We have Todd Santel, who is um, our vocational career teacher. So he works with those kids during the vocational track. Terry Brooks, our admissions director, and Shari Wright, our director of development, are also here uh, this evening. I want to thank them. So our mantra at Cumberland is that we want our graduates to be independent, successful livers as they move on to adulthood. We strive to provide this education, life experiences, training, and impetus to get them to that state of independence. We at Cumberland like thinking positive about our future. Thank you.